السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين على أمور الدنيا والدين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد All praises and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For all the blessings that we have Including the blessing that we have today Today is Friday which is the best day of the week In the Islamic religions And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions Whoever comes to the masjid Perform the Friday prayer Listen to the khutbah attentively, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive his sins until the next Friday. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us amongst the people that he forgive, inshallah. Amin, amin, ya Rabbul Alameen. Inshallah, for this bayan, I would like to remind myself and also to all of us over here, about the characteristic of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and this is a blessing for us. Blessings that we embrace Islam, the religion that teach us how to be good to others, how to deal with others, and these characteristics of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Followed by his companions, and we know his companions spread Islam to the whole world with these good characters. They spread Islam even to the very farthest country in the world, like in Indonesia, for example. Indonesia is really, really far. I think this is the the most eastern. Country in the world, and Islam reached Indonesia from the good characters of the Muslims that came to Indonesia, and most of them were actually merchants. They coming from mostly from the Hadra mouth. From Yemen and also from the areas called the Gujarat in India. So these good merchants give good examples, teach Islam with wisdom, and there is no opposition actually in in Indonesian people so when they embrace Islam. So is Islam actually reach Indonesia peacefully, very peacefully. And now Indonesia is one of the largest Muslim country in the world. There are about 225 million Muslims lives in Indonesia, and it is because of the good characters of Muslim that came to Indonesia, they spread Islam. And just for your information, many people from Hadramaut. There are some of them, many of them actually, the progeny of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, from Husayn bin Ali, and we call them in Indonesia we call them as a Habib or Sayyid. So when we call someone from Arabic in Indonesia as Habib or Sayyid, it's mostly because they are the progeny of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this is the characters of Muslim. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in Surah Al Taubah. This is Surah number nine, chapter nine, ayat one hundred twenty-eight. Audo bilahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Laqad jaa'akum rasulun min anfusikum. 
azizun alaihi ma amittum harisun alaikum bil mu'minina ra'ufur rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that there has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourself grievous to him is what you suffer so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is really concerned about us he feels sad if his follower is Muslim or people in the great suffer so he also suffer he is concerned over you and to the believer is kind and merciful so this is the character of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Allah mentions in the Quran in another ayat this is surah Ali Imran which is chapter 3 ayat 159 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Fa bima rahmatin min Allahi linta lahum Wa la kunta fadhan ghalid al-qalbi la naqaddu min hawlik Fa'fu anhum wa astaghfir lahum wa shabirhum fi al-amr Fa idha azamta fatawakkal ala Allah Inna Allah yuhibbul mutawakkirin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about that the way Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam deal with people here He said So by mercy from Allah O Muhammad You were lenient with them And if you had been rude in speech and harsh in heart, they would have disbanded from about you. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them, and consult them in their matter. And when you have decided, then rely upon Allah. Indeed, Allah loves those who rely upon Him. So in this ayat, He mentions the character of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu will dealing with people. He speaks with a good speech. He never hurts to other people. He's being lenient. Even in the hadith from the Muhammad said that make it easy, don't make it hard to people. So this is his teaching. Don't make hard to other people. Okay? Make it hard to you. To yourself, but don't make it hard to other people. Like, for example, if you do a ibadah, for example, try, you can make it better, try, perform many sunnah recommendations, better. but if we deal with other people, don't force them to do like you. Come on, man, you have to do this, you know, just make it easy. Maybe they don't have time, maybe they, they have difficulty to perform some ibadah. So, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he, is, he was very lenient to other people and he speak good speech and he, he never harms to other people so this is the reason why many people embrace Islam and this is also the one that I mentioned before is followed by his companions when they spread in Islam and this is actually the order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to spread Islam, my children. He said in Surah an nahl Surah number 16, ayat 125, A'udhu billahi minna shawqani rajim Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah Wal mamizat al hasan Wajadil hum bil ladhi hiya ahsan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that spread, invite people to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is for all of us, not only for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is for all of us. Maybe you say that I, I cannot talk to other people. No, this is not only about talking. The first things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about inviting people is Bil hikmah with wisdom. Wisdom is a good example. 
You don't have to talk to other people about Islam. Just show them that this is Islam. Good character. And just remember, right now, many people, not Muslim, they don't really read Quran. They don't really read Al Quran. They don't read Quran. But what they read from Islam, they read us. They read Muslim. If we are good, then say, oh, this is the teaching of Islam. It's a good teaching. If we are not really good, then what happened? They will say, oh, this is Islam. Islam is like this. It's not good. So that's the reason why the first commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us when inviting people is build hikmah with wisdom, with the good examples, good models. If we have neighbors, then good, be good to the neighbors. Even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that this is not the believers that do not go to the neighbor. Do not the one that causing problem to the neighbors. This is not included in the, the one that will believe in Allah and in the hereafter. It's not Muslim. And in other words, it is not a Muslim when the neighbor is being in a happy problem with him. So this is the the first. The first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about inviting people. Bil hikmah. With wisdom. Good examples. Good character. And then after that, if you already mingle with other people, maybe they, they will ask about Islam. Then what we have to do? Walmau is the bil hasana. Give them information about Islam. Teach them about Islam. Hasan is good thing. With a good word. And if they complain, if they debate us, if they argue, then what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means of them? Wajadilhum billati ya ahsan. If they argue, if they debate you, then make an argument, the best argument that you have. If you cannot do that, just leave them away. Don't try to fight or try to argue with the harsh argument. And these are the three. These are the three steps that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about inviting other to Islam. What is the first one? Bil hikmah. With wisdom. Good example. We don't have to talk. Just give the good example. Show them the Good character of a Muslim. What's the second step? Well, Mount Hasan. Hassan. Teach them with a good teaching, with a good preaching. And what's the last one? Wajadil Rum bin Lati Ya Hassan. And then make a good, best argument when you argue, when you debate, or when you discuss with them. So these are the steps that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give to us in fighting people. So we don't have to be like for example uh, scholars to invite people. We don't have to give speech in the podium in front of people to invite people to Islam. Just with a good example. Just bring them food for example. Give the neighbor the food. And this is, you know, this is a halal food, Islamic food. And so. Inshallah, inshallah, if Allah opened their heart, they will be a Muslim. Inshallah. So this is the character of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Isra, this is chapter 17, verse number 7. In ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum. This is a very good reminder for us. In ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum. If you do good, that good thing is actually will be back to you. Will come back to you. Wala in asatum falaha. 
if you do evil action and this evil will come back to you. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. If we do good to other people, then other people will also do good to us. At least Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the reward of doing good. If we do or perform evil things, that evil thing actually will go back to us. Other people maybe do the same thing that we do to them. Not only here, maybe also in the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish us for the evil doing that we do. So this is the, the reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If asantum, in asantum, asantum in anfusika. If you do good, it's good for you. It will come back to you. If you do evil thing, then that evil thing will come back to yourself. I have a, a little bit of wisdom story. It is mentioned by scholars. Uh, he mentions about a kid that had a journey with his dad. When he passed a valley, and what happened? He fell down. When he fell down, he said, Ouch! And then there's a sound from the valley, the echo actually coming from the valley, said, Ouch! And then this kid said, Who are you? He's, he's not somebody, you know, uh, repeating him. And what happened? From the valley also, he said, Who are you? And the, the kid get angry. Who are you? Why? And he get angry, saying, that. And what happened with the valley? The valley also echoing what he, he said. And he confused. He asked his father, hey, What's going on? And he did say, yeah, He did actually scream, say, Hi. And then from the from the valley, go, Hi. I like you. And then, I like you. I love you. I love you. And he tells his kid, what you do is actually will be reflected to you. If you say good, then good will come back to you. If you perform good, the good will come back to you. If you angry, if you perform evil, the evil will come back to you. Just like we see our face in the mirror. If we get angry and the other face, the reflection in our in the mirror will also angry to us. But if we smile to the mirror, person in the mirror, which is our reflection, will also smile to us. So this is the things that we have to do as a Muslim. Do good, inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also give good to us. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding of this khutbah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us easy to perform good things to other people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward this. Give us the reward. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being evil things. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashadu ilaha 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 il